You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. The pandemic in the United States and, of course, here in Illinois will get worse before it gets better. That continues to play out as there are more deaths in Illinois from coronavirus. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. Three more people, in fact, have died after contracting COVID-19. That brings the death toll to 19. There are also 330 new confirmed cases in the state. The total number of people who contracted coronavirus is nearly 1,900 in 35 counties. Douglas County is now reporting its first case of COVID-19. In Champaign County, the number doubled. There are now eight cases of coronavirus. The new cases continue to pop up in rural parts of the state four days after the governor ordered people to stay home. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield tonight. So, Mark, the governor said yesterday he may have to extend this order to stay home. And still no final word on that decision as they're still weighing some of that evidence, Paul. Good evening. Uh, Governor Pritzker said he's taking input from experts, from, uh, from, from scientists, from doctors, and from mathematicians who build statistical models as they get this new information and this new data. We got our hands on one of those very studies that came across Governor Pritzker's desk just about a day and a half before he made that declaration last week. We're going to show you some of the warning signs of that study in a moment, but the experts say they're watching close to see how many new cases pop up but without enough tests out there to test everyone who has symptoms they're also watching the number of people who actually show up at the hospital that may offer a more real-time glimpse at just how bad the crisis is as it's growing the governor cautioned employers in illinois also if you're seeing one set of instructions come from the cdc the federal government and another more stringent set of rules in illinois to stay home follow the state guidelines the governor said because uh, the cdc has lagged behind many states and that time lost could cost people their lives cdc has some terrific scientists and medical doctors as well um, but their guidance really has been a kind of a one-size-fits-all in other words you might have a state that is vastly rural with very very few people that are in uh, towns or cities uh, in that state uh, and <clears throat> a small state might have different guidance than a larger state uh, so you know we're doing what what is best for people in the state of illinois and two days before the governor ordered people to stay home, this study came across his desk. It measured worst-case scenarios in a place with as many people as Chicago in it and projected a massive spike if the governor didn't take any action by April 20. The second curve, the flatter curve you see there, is if he enforced a lockdown, the study said, three weeks sooner. The authors of that study projected that Illinois could reach its peak three weeks after the stay-at-home order was implemented. If that holds true, that means we'd reach our peak of cases in Illinois right around Easter weekend, the Friday right before it. The governor said yesterday he's concerned he may have to extend that stay-at-home order beyond April 7th. It's still too soon to tell, his office says. The governor's office says they are looking to these experts as they update their information and their data and all of their mathematical models as more information becomes available. For now, reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell, WCIA3, your local news leader.